Hello again, this is Brumbeck. This is part two of my compatibility patch video series for my Brumbeck's inventory sorting for Fallout New Vegas. And before we get into editing a more complex mod, which will be very exciting, I assure you, let me first show you by running Fallout New Vegas edit a simple tweak here. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding some weapons from Honest Hearts into my this Honest Hearts patch. And these were weapons, the war clubs that were causing the game to crash because Fallout New Vegas Edit was not able to handle the new record structure for Honest Hearts because the developers decided to change things because they like to do that to throw us off as modders. So what I'm doing is I'm just simply loading my Honest Hearts I, uh, plugin. I don't even need to click Honest Hearts ESM because it's already a master of the plugin file because it has all the files in there that my patch is referencing. So you notice it loads here. What I'm going to be doing is if we go into here, scroll down to weapons, then we see here let me maximize, it'll be fun. You can also click and drag here if you didn't know, and, and it's kind of weird how it works. Then you click here to expand. It's a little strange compared to normal Windows behavior. Anyway, we notice here that there's different weapons here. These are all the weapons from Honest Hearts DLC. And we notice this, this record's in green. Let me talk about these colors very briefly. Green means that there is an edit from the original record, and we can notice here that I've changed the name of it here, but I've also changed the category here to be a fix for this Mantis Gauntlet. And all these other records here that show in purple, these are just name edits. If you press down you can and up, you can go through all the records real quick like this, and you can notice I've simply changed the name of the weapon on the full dash name entry. Everything else here is gray. Gray means that it has not been edited. It's the same exact settings as from the original record in Honest Hearts ESM or whatever master file or ESP created the item originally. Now, these war clubs here, okay, so we can notice here that the war clubs which I actually just loaded a different ESP when I stopped the video. So anyway, the, the ESP that we want now, you can notice that the war clubs here only have white records. That's because there's only a war club in the Honest Hearts ESM. These are the items that we need to add into my compatibility patch. They were left out because of a program error in Fallout New Vegas Edit, how it handled the new DLC, because the DLC changed some of the formats, not really the program's fault. So I'm going to select all these, and what I do is I select one of them, hold down control, and then select all of them, right click, do copy as overwrite into, copy as overwrite into, hit yes, that we do want to edit things, then click on the bis honest hearts, just double click. What this is doing is copying it into bis honest hearts. Now if we notice it's turned green, and if I click on it, now we notice there's two records here, or two references to the record, it, ideally we should say two edits and two different plugins. There's honest hearts ESM and BIS Honest Hearts. And so now, but they're identical, if you notice, it's gray here, and everything is gray, because they're identical records. This record is identical to the original Honest Hearts, because I just copied it into it. What I want to do now is right-click and do Edit. I can hit Home to get to the start of the entry. And what is this? Where am I? What's happening? It's a melee weapon, W-M-E-L, colon space. Now I'm going to select this, do a Control-C to copy it, because I'm going to just be doing the exact same names for all the rest. So I click on this, Right click edit, paste, OK, and you get pretty quick at it after you've done it a billion times. Sometimes I click on the wrong things. You want to make sure you know what you're doing. You want to pay attention. I find that listening to music and stuff like that can get a little distracting sometimes, but whatever. And so now I've edited all these war clubs to have the WMEL name on them. And we can see down here that the BIS Honest Hearts is now in bold. We click on it, we see weapon is in bold. Now this is telling us, the program FNV edit is telling us everything in bold has been edited. It's been changed in this ESP since we've had the program open. Notice how weapon, and then notice how these are the bold records. So this program is awesome. It's really easy to see what you've been doing. Notice that the melee weapon, the war club, now has the proper naming tag. And that is all I'm doing for this first introduction segment. So this teaches you how to add new records into an existing patch. So if you had a mod that add new, added new weapons and then it, had a, it was patched or updated, I should say, the mod was updated and it added new weapons, you could go into the updated ESP or ESM, whatever it is, go to the weapons record like we did, copy, copy is over right into, and then into the patch you already had, an existing patch or a new one, and then change the names for the new weapons.
Then click X, it'll say save changes. Yes, always save, it's good. Then hit OK. I should also say that in your in your data folder for Fallout New Vegas, there's a backup created of the prior ESP before we made our changes in Fallout New Vegas edit, which is really nice. It always creates a backup with timestamps. So if you ever need to undo your changes, you can simply go to that backup and restore it. Okay, so now it's time to start on a much more complex compatibility patch. We're going to be doing Project Nevada, current version 2.0a. Sometimes it helps to go to the uh, web page for it, or in this case the New Vegas Nexus page for it, and read about what the mod does so we just have an understanding. Now this mod is interesting because it's modular. It's meant to be made in such a way that people can use only certain parts, as probably most of you know. There's the core and then there's the cyberware which adds new implant items so that immediately tells me that those items are going to need to be tagged because they will not be they'll have their own just names the mod author gave them and then there's the rebalance which tells me that it's going to be existing items are being rebalanced changed modified and so that tells me that all the all the things that that touches are going to need to have a compatibility patch to carry over those changes and then also add my naming scheme to them. And then there's this equipment, which adds some equipment. Looks like it adds some new weapons and ammo and all this bit uh, and changes it. So that's I'm going to need to work on that, too. So it's going to take a little bit of work. So let's get started. Okay, so let's get started with the actual editing. We'll run FNV edit. And did I already mention that you need to have the mod installed already and in the proper load order? FNV edit does not change the load orders or install mods. It just edits the plugins. So first of all, make sure you have Project Nevada installed, downloaded, installed, and then set in a proper load order. So I already have that done just to be aware of that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to load all the Project Nevada plugins and then I'm also going to load my main ESP, the Brumbucks Inventory Sorting. So this, this is just to give me an overview of what the plugins actually change and where there's overlap with my changes in my Brumbucks Inventory Sorting. So I've got those five files in there, the core, the equipment, cyberware, and rebalance. So I'll hit OK. Just take a moment to load. Okay, so now we've got it loaded. Now let's check it out. Okay, so what are we doing? Well, we're first going to check out all the different Project Nevada files just to see what's going on, see what they're doing. So I click here on the Project Nevada core. We'll start with that, seems like a good place. Plus on it, oh dear, oh dear, so many entries. So there's all, the, all these categories, armor, cell, container, blah, 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 blah. If you watch my last video, at the very end of it, I discuss all the categories my mod edits. You can also see those right here by just clicking on the plus next to Brumbex Inventory Sorter. So what I edit is adjustable ammunition, armor, book, caravan card, casino chip, caravan money, item mod, miscellaneous item, and weapon. So we're just going to start with all those categories and check out what's in this Project Nevada crazy mod. I click plus next to armor. Oh, good. There's only two entries. Chinese Stealth Armor. That's an item from Fallout New Vegas. Or Fallout 3, actually. But anyway, so we see that there's this first record, first version of it in the Fallout New Vegas. And now Project Nevada Core edits it and changes a bunch of this biped data. Yes, yeah, so we don't really need to know what any of this does. It, let me think. We don't need to know anything about what this does. Uh, doesn't matter to us. All we care about is the names. Now, I know what this does, of course, but I'm not going to tell you. So we just ignore all that. And now notice that all my mod does is change the name to the arm L for armor light or light armor. We also notice there's this crazy configuration item uh, menu token thing to get into the menu. So this is an item that's added by Project Nevada, of course. It's not from the original game. So what we need to do, both these items need to be uh, modified for a compatibility patch. So what we can do is we can just left click on armor, right click on the whole category of armor, and now we have this deep copy is override into. Remember, normally if we click on just an entry here, it's copy is override into. Now it's deep copy is override into because we're copying an entire 
category of armor. So I'm going to right click and then click deep copy. Hit yes, I'm absolutely sure. I'm going to create a new file for this new patch. Double click there and now I'm going to type the same exact name as the original mod, the Project Nevada dash dash core. That just keeps it straight so we know which different patches for which original mod plugin. We hit OK. It says it's going to make those two as masters since we're getting data data pulling from both of these. We hit yep. So now we have this here and notice this message will say copied, added, masters, blah, 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 whatevers. So now we have the armor and now we have both these entries and now see we have three records. We have the Fallout New Vegas version, Project Nevada, the BIS, and actually we have four. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. And now we have the BIS Project Nevada version. And now we notice here that it's it's retained all the changes from the original Project Nevada core. That's because we copied it from the Project Nevada core right here at the armor. We could have copied it from the BIS here in armor, and then it would have retained the name, but not any of the Project Nevada changes. It's always best when making a patch to copy it from the plugin from the mod that we're creating the patch for, so the Project Nevada, because that keeps all of the changes Project Nevada wants. Notice it really wants to alter all this biped stuff. So on the merge one here that we're creating for the patch, it's got all this, but the name is wrong. All we have to do to change the name in this case, since all the name change is, is just adding this tag, is left click and hold and drag over and release. And that's all it takes. You can just drag. That works for any record. Any record you can drag over and change like that. So now what we have here is in this BIS we have the armor, tag name, and the changes from Project Nevada. And that's what we mean by a compatibility patch. We've now merged all the changes so that both mods play nice. Click on this Project Nevada, we see the core, and then we also see my version. You can click here and expand if you ever so wish. Now we can simply right click on this and now we're going to change it to my naming system. Delete all this stuff now type util because I make all of the menu item stuff like this as util. Now you could change the name if you wanted. If you wanted to make it more immersive instead of this menu, you know, you could change it. Change the name to whatever you want really. But for my mod we use util. And so now we've got the armor categories changed. So now we are done with the Project Nevada Core armor category. Only uh, several more categories to go. We notice cell is not part of my mod, does not contain anything. Container is not. Dialog, nope, 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 yes. Weapon, so the only other category is weapon. Let's expand it. Oh good, only one. Now this makes me happy. And now we notice here that's got this crazy thing, and the full name it says, used to FOV memory. So this is not a real item. Notice it is a dummy weapon. It's not a real item. Never shows up in the inventory. Player never gets it. We do not need to change it because it will never show up. This is good. This means the core is done. To make the compatibility patch for the core, that's all we had to do. This is good. Now let's save. Control S. Do a little Control S on your keyboard. Comes up and says, hey, here's this new file. Would you like to save the changes? Oh, yeah. Notice it says saving, done saving. All right, so the first step is done. Oh, yes, yes, hello. So now the core is done, but I fear because I've already made all these patches previously, it's not gonna be as easy for the next parts. Let's go to the Project Nevada equipment. What do we got here? Oh dear, many categories. All right, let us go to ingestible. Oh good, only one. Stim pack. Well, why I never. Well, that needs to be changed. So we're just simply going to click on this. And uh, the first thing you got to remember is always to copy it into a new ESP. Sometimes I can get ahead of myself and start to rename it. I can click edit and change it right there. But that's going to change it in Project Nevada Equipment.ESM. That'll change it in the ESM file. Now, that's that's okay. But that wouldn't work for the patches I make and release to others. Because that would modify the actual original Project Nevada mod. What we want to do is just modify the compatibility patch because it's bad form to edit original mods like that. We want to make a separate compatibility patch. 